Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today I want to do a fun little video talking about how we can use 2FA without relying on those Google apps and the other smartphone apps and things like that. So, to give you the background here, I have a client who just reached out and uh, they needed me to get logged into an account they have at their company. And I got in there, created it, and then the first time you log in, it's like 2FA, Google Authenticator, or SMS. Well, we're out. <laughs> so I, um, now I, I get back, and of course it's the QR code. And it's like, hey, you know what? What um, you know? What can we do? And and stuff like that. And so uh, with my client here, it's kind of like the one here on the screen. So you get a QR code, you have some keys, you have to write down your authentication type stuff. Now I know and I had experimented with a few of these types of apps in Linux, but I, wouldn't you know it, I use Arch by the way for some of my stuff and the Arch version of the application is broken. I'm like, well, I'll have to wait until I can log in with another computer that I can actually get the applications to work. So I send that back to the client. Yeah, the login works. I think we verified we can move on without me getting in there right now, whatever. He's like, well, I was able to get in with KeePass. I'm like, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, these QR code things, you can get into these with KeePass. Who knew? I didn't. Um, and so I went ahead and search, started searching high and low, and I found this wonderful tutorial here on Linux.org, an in-depth tutorial about how to set up a 2FA TOTP with KeePass XC, and this is going to allow you to get into all of these types of things. Of course, I knew it was an awesome tutorial because I scrolled down a little bit, and if you uh, need an introduction to KeePass, they link to my video. Thank you, guys, at Linux.org. Uh, very awesome. So I'm going to link this article right back down. So uh, this is still a pretty good video. If you want an introduction to KeePass XC, I'm going to assume that you already know a little bit about how to use it. But what I was able to do is I was able to get into here. And once he told me that, I'm like, well, that's neat. I find these instructions and I'm able to get into the site without relying on that app that is broken on Arch, by the way. And so today I'm going to walk you through those simple steps. I thought, what can I use as a test that's not going to compromise security, not do a lot of stuff? I'm a web developer. I'm just going to spin up a Joomla because Joomla in the latest version 4 has multi-factor authentication enabled by default. And by default, without adding anything else, it will allow you to set up these QR codes as multi-factor authentication and use KeyPass XC to do that. Now, of course, if you are using Joomla, they do also support YubiKeys, although this one is too old. I do not believe that Joomla is supporting that key. It is about time I get some new keys, I got to say. But um, right now, we're going to jump on over to a virtual machine where I have that sample Joomla site built up, and uh, we'll get a chance to see what that looks like, how exactly to use it. And this methodology, exactly what I'm going to do here, it worked for that other organization. It worked for this. I'm going to guess it's going to work for everything it's like QR code user Google Authenticator app and um, in reality uh, you don't have to do that so I did actually do some brief lookup so g2.com has 10 alternatives and uh, competitors to uh, to Google authentication of course I wouldn't put a lot of these like some of these are not like LastPass is number one it's not number one it's like number 782 on the list like use it just after uh, a random uh, use it just after scribbling your passwords on a bathroom stall okay that's about where LastPass goes uh, but some of these like off the O and uh, Microsoft Authenticator are certainly alternatives as well uh, of course none of your basic ones I think Twilio some people uh, on the um, uh, on the Matrix server mentioned they use Twilio and looking to get away from it so well, let's go ahead and jump on over to the VM and show you how to set this up with KeePass XC. To get set up here, we need to get some form of verification method in place. I thought about what thing I could use that wouldn't compromise any security, and I thought, let's just spin up a Joomla on a domain that I can kill in a heartbeat. And so that's what I did. I have a Joomla site here. I just populated it with the default Joomla data so you can see what it all looks like. And on the back end here, particularly in Joomla 4, the, they have added multi-factor authentication as an option into the Joomla core. So what I'm going to do here is click in to edit the username and then 
you'll usually just stand it out right here and then head on over to your multi-factor authentication. You can use YubiKeys, although I think mine are too old. I, maybe I need to get some new ones. There's web authentication. This is some of this new stuff that Apple and Google have been doing. We have a code by email. What we're going to do, though, is the web verification or, or a new verification code because this is the same type of methodology that a Google Authenticator or similar device works with. Now, of course, you need your password manager set up. So I have my password manager over here set up and I have my instance over here. And so I have my username and my password in there. So what we are going to do is with this screen here and with anything requiring this Google Authenticator, you can always get the key. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the key. I'm going to make sure I don't copy that space after the key. That's very important. And then we're going to right click on our entry and set up uh, TOTP. So set it up. You're going to get a secret key and then push OK. And then now that we have a secret key and push OK, now we're going to right click again and we're going to copy it. Enter the six digit code. This is the six digit code that we get. Save and close. And now we have it set up. Now there's backup codes. There's extra verification codes and things like that. I'm not worried about doing extra backups and things like that. If I if this were a production site, I would also turn on something like email or one of the other methods as well. So let's see if, uh, good, Chromium is finished installing. So let's go back on over to Chromium now where it is fresh installed and never seen anything on the net. So now if I go over to Joomla, we're going to start by copying the URL. Let's paste that guy in. And we're going to grab my username and we're going to grab my password. And now it needs a verification code. So now we're going to come over into our site. We're going to right click and we're going to copy the verification code. Paste that in and validate. And now we are logged in with two-factor authentication. We have not needed to use Google Authenticator or anything else. We're just using KeePass XC with this TOTP. So we can copy it, we can show it, we can show a QR code, or we can set up another entry there as well. So hopefully this helped you get into uh, adding some more security, two-factor, multi-factor authentication without relying on various smartphone apps and things like that because I realize that's where everything's going to go with all these. Now here's the good thing. If you drop your smartphone in the toilet, you have to figure out how to get your codes all back if that's your only way. But with KeePass XC, that is saved inside this KeePass database. So if I take this database, save it in my archives, my whole computer blows up, grab a copy of that database from my archives, deploy it on a new system, my TOPC are still there. We're all set. So this is an excellent methodology. This is something, I, like I said in the intro, I did not even know KeePass did this. Uh, so I'm very thankful for my uh, client who informed me about it so I could look into it. So there is uh, our quick tip, quick tip for the day. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.